Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are going to be looking at the DJI Mini 2 SE. So right here I have a DJI Mini 2 SE, obviously. It is under 249 grams, and it was about $339 in American money. This drone is a very good beginner drone. It I would suggest it to anyone who's just starting out a YouTube channel or who literally just wants to fly it for fun. This drone is a great drone. It can go six miles away technically, but then you have the battery. Um, I just got the normal like combo thing. I didn't get the fly more combo. I know you can, and it comes with more batteries and stuff, which I know for some people would be like needed but for me i just fly for fun and basically do it for some youtube videos so let's get more in depth to this video this battery right here is the battery that runs the dji mini 2se this battery makes the drone capable of about 30 minutes of flying time in perfect weather and can have um Level 5 wind resistance, which is about 20 mile an hour winds. Um, this battery just slides right in, down in this little hatch right here. Just go like this. Just slide it in. I'm going to keep it out for now, but that's how you do it. So this battery right here is the battery for the DJI Mini SE and DJI Mini 2. Which is nice because if you're going out with a friend who has a DJI Mini 2 or the DJI Mini SE and he has an extra battery and you don't, he could give you this and you could put it in your drone and it would work fine. Um, I think that's handy because it's just pretty easy and yeah. So I didn't buy the um, Fly More Pack which comes with I'm pretty sure two more batteries ad additional of this one. But, um, this one is fine for me. I mean, it can, it's rated to fly 30 minutes, but, like, when it's windy, like, right now it's about 5 mile an hour winds out there. So, it could probably last about 30 minutes, but, like, on 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all those mile an hour winds, like, that, this battery will probably last about 15 to 20 minutes. Um... But yeah, so this battery, I would even say it takes up most of the weight of the drone. The drone's pretty, I mean, I, I'd say they weigh about the same, like when it's out. So, yeah. This battery, um, you can buy like the same battery, this one, for about 50 bucks on the DJI website or Best Buy or any of those other stores um it's a good battery i love it i would just recommend getting another one or even just getting the fly more combo just because if you're getting this drone you probably just want to fly it recreationally which means you probably want to fly it for a while so this is the battery of the g shot mini 2 see. Okay, so now let's talk about the case of the DJI Mini 2SE. This case is not the one that comes directly from the DJI website. I did not get the Fly More Combo, so I didn't get a case. So what I did, I got a case in it with these foam pads. It's pretty nice that you can customize them to how you want your drone to fit in there. I lucked out and got my drone to be able to fit in the same case, which is pretty tight, but I'll show you guys how it fits in a minute so here's how i pack it up i put my licenses under here which i'll talk about more in the video put them under my drone take my dji mini 2 SE, slide it in right here then i take my r25 controller and there we go pops right in and then I just carry my phone around so that's my case
The next thing I want to talk about is the gimbal. This gimbal is not the most advanced gimbal, but it gets the job done. Um, this gimbal looks like it can move side to side. There, let me show you guys this. Side to side and up and down. Um, this gimbal is really handy if you're in tough winds. Um, or like you're going high speed. It really keeps it steady for a good image quality. Um, I personally love this gimbal. I think it's a very nice quality. I think it's a very nice size. And it really just gets the job done for me. With the gimbal, you can move the camera up and down like this. And it's just amazing to me. When you're flying, you're just like all this, it stays steady. I'll go ahead and turn it on for you guys to just show you how it kind of starts and turns on. It's kind of cool. So it's kind of hard to demonstrate, but look, when I when I'm going like this, it tries to stay in place. So if I go like this, it stays in place. When I go like this, it stays in place. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it is pretty fragile. So I suggest every time you're done flying, um, always putting this gimbal cover on, which comes with the drone. Just slip it on the top, push it down right here. And then right here to take it off, there's this little latch right here. You pull that and there you go. That is the gimbal of the DJI Mini 2SC. Let's talk the con about the controller of the DJI Mini 2SC. On this controller, there is a lot of buttons and there's a place for your phone right here. This is where your phone goes. It comes with three different cords, an Android, an iPhone, and then some other Android phone controller. Um, this, co this just plugs in your phone right here. Obviously, I'm filming with my phone, so I can't demonstrate really. This button right here is how you move the gimbal up and down. This button right here is how you take pictures or start videos or end them. Um, this is a return to home button. This is how you turn it on. This button right here is how you change modes. Right now, I have it on center mode because I was just like filming something. Um, you can just slide it back and forth and it'll change modes. There's three different modes. Cinematic mode, normal mode, and sport mode. This button right here, you hold it down and it returns back to home. Um, you can also do that on the screen of the phone. So this right here is how you switch if you're ever filming video or photo. This is kind of like a hot button. You can change it to diff different things. On mine, I have it set to where if I double tap it, it sends me to the map. And if I single tap it, if the gimbal's down, it brings it back up. You might be wondering where are the where are the pegs? Well, they're down in here for storage. How you put them on? It's very simple. You just go on, just screw them in, and there we go. Once you have both of them screwed in, you're ready to fly. I'm not very fast at this, but there we go. That's the controller of the DJI Mini 2SE. Okay, so the licensing for the DJI Mini 2SC is pretty simple. It's two, it's under 249 grams, which means you don't have to license it with the FAA unless you're going commercial. I am not going commercial because all I do with my drone is post videos on YouTube for it and just fly it for fun. Um, I know some people even use the DJI Mini 2SC for commercial, which means they would have to register it with Part 107. Um, I don't have part 107 because you have to, first of all, you have to be 16. I'm not 16. You have to, um, go in and take a written test, and I've heard that it's pretty hard. I, um, I got the recreational flyer's license, which is called Trust. It's just a little paper that you have to carry around with you when you're flying. Um, there's some simple rules that goes with the recreational flyer, such as register your drone if it weighs more than, um, the 259 grams 
and then um obviously fly for only recreational purposes i don't really memorize them so i'm just gonna say some of the ones i remember and then another one is um do not fly higher than 400 feet in uncontrolled airspace because like for example like if there's an airport nearby you probably wouldn't want to fly it next to an airport obviously because you could get hit or you could hit an airplane um always fly within your line of sight um so if you're gonna fly it pretty far go stand in your front yard just make sure you can see it or your partner sees it or things like that um follow communities um rules so if i was gonna fly to church go ahead ask him look at the rules make sure it's okay to do that um yeah i would say um if you're just flying it for fun like me youtube channels even just get the trust license it's really easy you just watch a video and answer like i think there's like eight questions and there's like four stages i did it in like 20 minutes it's really easy so this is the license of the dji mini 2 sc mm -hmm.